What up, Hoe Biscuits? It's your girl Skitten back at it again. First and foremost, look at my freaking hairpins. Yeah, they're cute. They're little freaking butterflies nice. and they move. It's great. Mm -hmm. So I really like them. They're really fun, but they're also a little bit distracting. So maybe not the best choice to shoot a video on, but whatever. Also, I'm here also, with my also. husband. Yes, I am. Hello, husband. What's happening? How are you? I'm uh, better than I was before I got here. <laughs> I'm glad to hear that. Yeah. Always really nice to have my husband here with me. It's always great to have you here as well. Thanks for being here. Mm -hmm. I think you're pretty cool. So anyway, today we are here to watch Tear Zoo. I know we're a little late, okay? I'm sorry. I know you guys like for us to react 0.2 seconds after the video drops, but sometimes we can't do that. Sometimes my husband has to kiss my face instead. Hey there, how are you doing? Looking good over there. Sometimes yeah. my husband has to kiss my face instead. You're looking like a real snack. Mm. Did you just lick me? Yeah. We're delicious. Today we are here to watch the crustacean. Cr 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 Today we're here to watch the crustacean tier list. I think I think my my list of animals right now is gonna go frogs and then crabs. Like okay. I've been really feeling crabs. I vibe lately. with that. Yeah. No, I actually really like that as a tier list. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, and then cats are third. I think like um, it will probably be like parasites <laughs> before cats, and I don't know how far down that goes, but wherever you get to like grubs. <laughs> Parasite list, cats are probably around under that. And then like raccoons. Oh, at the okay, very top. all right. Look, <laughs> this intro has gone a thousand different directions. Just know we love each other, we love you, we love Tear Zoo, and without further ado, <laughs> let's go ahead and get started. Okay. This one is sick. Oh. oh my god! He punched his arm off! Maybe don't. I, okay, every time I see something about a mantis shrimp, mm -hmm. I think about that Jamie Foxx movie where they gave everyone really cool powers, right? And then Jamie Foxx was like, I have the power of a mantis shrimp. Crustaceans are some of the most popular builds in the entire game. In Everything fact, they're crap. so popular yes, that it's become sort of a meme that every player will eventually drop their current character and switch to being a crab main. Crab. But just how competitively viable are crustaceans really? Which unique abilities does the crustacean oh have make He's use of that enabled them to a resilient force <laughs> across so many of the game's expansions and balance force. patches? And are they actually an optimal build choice in the current meta? Or are they just an easy to pilot, low skill floor character? Mm. We'll discuss all this and more as we rank the most notable builds on the Crustacean tier list. Okay. This video was sponsored by GiveWell. Before we get into the tier list, Catch let's first discuss the Crustacean faction's general game strategy okay. and the key abilities they use to accomplish it. Crustaceans are part of the larger faction of arthropods, and so crustaceans inherit all the main perks of the arthropod class. Mm. So wait a minute, when you say, would you love me if I'm a worm, do you also mean crab? I, I could love you if you were a crab. Pop. Look, you got worms at the top yeah. and you got crabs at the bottom. They're all a part of the same family. Okay, but, but worms are not crab. Worms no. are like related to crabs. Right, they're all arthropods. Yeah. So say, would you love me if I was an arthropod? And then I could say yes. <laughs> I could love but you if you were a That's not the question. The question is, would you love me if I was a but worm? But I couldn't have sex with you, because I can't reproduce with arthropods. Right. But I would keep you as a pet, and I'd make you fight robots. Why wouldn't you keep me as a pet if I was a worm? We're going fishing if you're a worm. But if you're a crab... The most important <laughs> one, of course, is their exoskeletal <laughs> armor, which provides a huge defense boost. Given that most crustaceans have to contend with some of the most dangerous builds in the game, this extra protection is crucial to their viability. Their carapace, which is the thickest, sturdiest, and most important link in their armor, mm -hmm. can block attacks from seabird beaks, fish jaws, and many of the other threats common in aquatic environments. Right. It does, however, have the same weakness as all exoskeleton-type builds, which is that their defense stat drops drastically for a short time yep. when leveling up. Yeah. Yeah. If their armor ever does he fail is them, alive. this doesn't immediately mean game over. Fruit 
whispers of my death were greatly <laughs> exaggerated as he climbs out of the plastic. What the hell? Do the song. Do the song. Break me out the plastic and they call me brand new. I'm a crab. You could be one too. You're talking about the Cardi B big lotto song? <laughs> Look at him go. Rip me out the plastic. I've been acting brand new. Yeah. Rip me out the plastic. <laughs> call me brand new. <laughs> Red bottles. Because I'm a crab. Doesn't mean game over. <laughs> For stations have the incredible ability to regenerate That's HP sick. after taking damage. Look at that. Even being able to regrow entire limbs. <laughs> he said, Rip so even something as devastating as losing a claw or a leg isn't something off. crustaceans can't recover from. Crustaceans would survive the zombie apocalypse. They would. They have no. They Rip have no problem. Off. Get going. out of here. You got bit. Did I? <laughs> <laughs> he got bit. I'm fine. It's, it's always so confusing to me in zombie movies when they get bit that they don't just immediately flop like, get out of here, Are bro. Are you psychotic? <laughs> Why is that not your automatic reaction to getting Are bit? Are you crazy? No. Have you lost your mind? No. I'm just saying, just, you know. Why are we even talking about this? There never has to be that sense of betrayal. Uh, Why wow, could you not tell us that you were bit? You didn't notice the fucking nub? And in fact, can be the optimal play to distract an opponent and escape a fight. Mm -hmm. This ability makes crustaceans a very beginner-friendly build. Right. As you can make a lot of mistakes and still progress through your playthrough relatively <laughs> unhindered. Crustaceans also have uniquely specialized limbs that come to two points rather than one. This makes it super straightforward to spec them into various different specialized opposable claws, which can be optimized for slicing, crushing, piercing, or grappling. I've said in the past, that I think crustaceans are a broadly mid-tier class. And I think this still holds up. Crustaceans have a lot of interesting tools at their disposal, you. but due to their middle-of-the-road stat spread, they are constantly fighting an uphill Damn. battle against the many high-tier threats they need to contend with, right. and have to play things perfectly to not get run over in these matchups. So, let's see how the individual <laughs> crustacean builds fare and get into the tier list. Okay. okay. Barnacles. Starting us off in F tier, we have the Barnacle. F tier? The Barnacle is a crustacean build with an almost completely AFK strategy. As a Barnacle larva, you find a spot and then attach to it and filter feed for the rest of your playthrough. Yeah. yeah. Now, I'm not dunking on players who enjoy idle games. I'm a fan myself. However, mm. this strategy does have some major flaws. The Despite Not the right. fact that barnacles have the highest defense stat of any crustacean, the survivability of a barnacle is entirely contingent on their choice <laughs> of parking space. Barnacles can attach to just about any surface, from ship holes to cement walls, mm. to whales and even other crustaceans. Yeah. Choosing a spot on a non-living surface leaves the barnacle vulnerable to predators. Mm. As high as their defense stat may be, there are plenty of builds that are willing to invest in anti-shell defense abilities, mm -hmm. like the acidic like attacks what? of the starfish or the drilling what? attacks of the whelk snail, neither of which are uncommon on the reefs and coastlines that right. barnacles call home. But if they opt for a living host, which is easier said than done by the way, then That's their survivability nasty. is completely tied to the survival of their host, a tenuous gambit in a metagame as hostile as the ocean server. Whales are a pretty safe choice, but opportunities to secure real estate on a whale are few and far between. Much more Sorry. likely you'll need to settle for property oh on a shell or a crustacean, which, as we'll see later on this list, is this quite a gamble. Me too. Personally, I'd say if you want to play a mostly AFK marine build, opt for the scallop. Okay. Barnacles give me the ick. We can continue. All right. You'll still get to chill and filter feed most of the time, but can still escape if you be. Shrimp! Also in F tier, we have the shrimp. Whoa! Now, shrimp are a super diverse group so with a ton delicious. of interesting strategies. Mm -hmm. But in general, shrimp make very poor use of the crustacean build's <laughs> yeah. abilities. Broadly speaking, shrimp have weak legs, no eye stalks, and small claws. Right. No eye stalks might seem trivial, but eye stalks are actually a pretty useful ability, that. allowing a player Please. to take cover in the sand or under the seabed while still remaining vigilant. Right. Shrimp rely heavily on that same strategy, but because they cannot <laughs> surveil their surroundings while hiding, a clever predator can easily just wait until they resurface and pick them off. Attacking a shrimp is also a lot- <laughs> There's a guy around the corner just like watching him dig like, I'm gonna eat his ass right. in like 20 minutes. I'll be back. I wasn't even hungry right now, bro. Thank you. Less risky than attacking most crustaceans. Wow. Their damage dealing abilities are far worse than the rest of the faction. Yeah. The shrimp's scaled down appendages are a trade-off meant to buff its mobility. 
shrimps have specked into shorter, flatter legs that increase their aquatic movement speed in a way somewhat reminiscent of a fish's pelvic fins. Mm. This is a neat idea that means shrimp can freely swim rather than walking along the ocean floor. But in practice, this kind of just meant that shrimp ended up as the seahorses of the crustacean faction, a tankier but slower moving swimmer that can't adequately defend itself or evade attacks, wow. so it gets bullied by wow. every other nearby player. Shrimp do have one escapability okay. in that they can very the quickly dive yeah. backwards. But this is, of course, very predictable and exploitable by experienced Damn. players. Nice. Now, it's important to note that while they may not have the best stats, crafty shrimp mains have been able to reach some level of viability mm. in the meta, mm. either by specking into debuff cleansing abilities and playing as a predator support class, or by abusing a quirk of the game engine, which allows them to fire off powerful yep. short-range sonic projectiles called cavitation bubbles that can stun other players. These are both respectable strategies that merit cool. higher tier placement, but as a whole, shrimp are stuck F in the box. Okay. okay. Alright. Isopods! First in D tier, we've got the isopod. Other than the barnacle, which literally cannot move, <laughs> the isopod has the highest base defense stat of any crustacean on this list. Its shell is perfect for yeah. deflecting attacks, and when they curl into a ball like an armadillo, there are very few predators that can threaten them, unless they're several orders of magnitude larger outright. However, the isopod has essentially no damage dealing abilities whatsoever. Right. It has no attacks, no poison, nothing to threaten <laughs> aggressive damn, players damn, with. Damn. And so against a persistent attacker, it will essentially always lose. Isopods are a diverse and widely distributed group, with both terrestrial and aquatic variants. The terrestrial variants, known as woodlice, pillbugs, and roly-polies, Roly function Poly. very similarly to miniature cockroaches, using their flat it's shape disgusting. to wedge themselves into hard-to-reach positions, and only leaving the safety of these places in order to scavenge for loot. The larger aquatic variants of the isopod Vaguely are terrifying. usually similar in their strategy, yeah. but can also opt for a parasitic place hey, I'm dead. where they actually fuse with a fish player, destroying Whoa. and replacing the fish's tongue. This Whoa. parasitic strategy is great for farming XP and is super AFK, right. but does come with pretty much all the same risks I mentioned about the barnacle. Yeah. If the fish gets attacked and defeated, the isopod usually You're goes done. down with the ship. Huh. It's like in Call of Duty, the uh... I almost said the quadruped. Um, the, <laughs> the hell are you? What kind of game you playing? <laughs> the collateral. Damn. Yeah. Yeah. The quadruped. That's crazy. <laughs> That's crazy. I, I think I was like thinking like collateral. I was thinking like quad kill. But I don't know where the quadruped came out. Okay. But. We're but like the collateral. I think because I was thinking of animals, so it was like quadrupeds. And anyway. I see. Then I was like quadriceps, and I was like okay, collateral. You're, you're in the wrong direction. Your brain did all that. <laughs> yeah. Thinking about Call of Duty. Yeah. I was imagining you shotgun people. It wasn't even there. Technically, if given the chance, they could detach and escape. <gasps> but in the marine meta, chances like that are quite rare. And without a host, oh, they're likely to just get Ew. picked off anyway. Not the worst yeah. crustacean, but it's leaving a lot on the table, okay. not making use of the crustacean's mm -hmm. highly customizable forelimbs. Mm -hmm. Next in D2, we have the crayfish, also known as the crawdad. Mm. This is a smaller variant of the lobster subclass, so which mainly sticks to freshwater servers. This means that unlike the lobster, which needs to be prepared to contend with the likes of sharks, octopus, eels, and the multitude of dangerous threats you'd find in the ocean servers, right. the worst things a crayfish might run into would probably be something like a turtle or largemouth bass. Mm -hmm. And yet, even in this much less punishing environment, crayfish still <laughs> underperform. They have solid matchups against frogs, which is true of essentially every other build in existence as well, <laughs> and they can sometimes hold their own against freshwater fish due to their armor. But pretty much anything beyond that and they begin to struggle. They don't have claws that are anywhere near as powerful as some of the other crustaceans <laughs> on this list. I kind of always assumed that a pinch from a crawfish would hurt. It don't at all. Not even a little bit. Really? Comically, it doesn't hurt. And I... they have a good grip too. Right. Yeah. But it's kind of just like when a baby's like holding your finger. And so when confronted with an adversary, they often lose if they can't escape. Their only real advantage is that their smaller size opens up a lot of additional options to where they can run for He's cover gone. He's out of here, bro. they can fit into very small openings between rocks and debris on a riverbed. However, because they often aggregate so close to the shoreline, they're vulnerable to being picked off by birds, mm -hmm. whose pinpoint precision strikes can hit them even in partial cover. Without proper offensive capabilities, they'll always find themselves outclassed by their more powerful relative. A build which I think we've name dropped enough times already to just go ahead and move on Okay, to. let's go. The lobster. lobster! First in C tier, we have oh, the lobster. lobster. 
Lobsters are a solid marine tier build with lots of strengths, the most obvious of which is their incredibly large and powerful claws, which grant the lobster one of the highest grip strengths in the entire nice. game, able to easily crush through the defenses of just about any other player claw. and inflict devastating damage in the oh, process. Oh, oh. This is Why was he letting it pinch him? It looked like it was an experiment of some sort, but I did not understand it. I did not get what the goal is of that. <laughs> Why was it? What is He's letting them just <laughs> fuck him up. Why? Why? That's a great question. Oh my god. That's a fantastic question. This is excellent for, for this. defense and also for taking control of an objective or point of interest on the sea. <laughs> Similar to shrimp, lobsters also have fairly decent mobility although the only direction they can move quickly is directly backwards. Mm. This is all quite solid, however, the lobster does have its own share oh, no. weaknesses oh, no. in addition wow. to the standard oh. crustacean wow. weaknesses. Oh. This backward mobility is fairly limiting, mm. and means that attacking a lobster from behind often leaves them with very little counterplay options. Right. Because their claws cannot reach backwards, oh, my and if they God. try to use their burst mobility option, their like, only like choice will be to move directly towards you, unless they slowly reposition themselves so that their back faces away from the threat. Right. Now, this is in contrast to the next build on our list, which I think is a bit more versatile in its mobility. True crab. Next in C tier, we finally arrive at the crab nice. build. Crab. The poster child for the crustacean class and one of the most reliable and consistent mid tiers in the entire game. Okay, real quick. Which is more accurate, like this or like this? Ah, oh, putting the things out there. That's actually a good question. Which one? Which one? Okay. You know? I got a good one. Like if a crab was to wear a tie, mm -hmm. would he wear it over his eyes or around his abdomen? Mm -hmm. Like underneath his mouth. I'm thinking under his mouth. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Because I think under the eyes, right in the middle, it would fall like right over his mouth. No, I think it's got to be under like the mouth. Like a little fancy guy. I think his hat goes over his eyes and his tie goes under his mouth. You can put the hat in between there. Well, the hat in between. Side. No way. Crab claws are extremely customizable, able to That's be optimized right. for whatever best suits the current meta. Some spec into smaller, more precise claws that enable to capture small prey oh, no, more the easily. Octopus. Some spec into sharp-edged claws used for slashing at oh, my gosh. Roots, such as cephalopods. And some opt for pointed claws, <laughs> perfect for jabbing at pesky fish who can't mind their business. However, the thing that really sets crabs apart from other crustaceans is that they've opted not to spec into the pleon trait. Mm. The pleon is the rear abdomen seen on most other crustaceans mm -hmm. we've discussed so far. It's the tail part the which allows part. shrimp and lobsters to use that special burst mobility yeah, option. The, the trade-off, though, is that the pleon vastly increases their hurt box and functions yeah. as a weak point. Yeah. In order to have the flexibility required to give them that quick movement, so they can't be that. as heavily armored as the rest of them. Mm. So, while crayfish, shrimp, and lobsters fold pretty quickly when being attacked from behind, right. crabs can usually just shrug it off. <laughs> However, just because they can't dash backward instantly like other crustaceans can, doesn't mean crabs are immobile. Vroom. Instead, crabs focus on lateral mobility, which, turns out, is often much more useful for dodging attacks. They can quickly swim or dash to the left or right when needed. <laughs> and although this might not be as impressive oh! as the lobster's dash, it's still often enough to save their life anyway. Now, I don't want to give you the impression that I think crabs are at all overpowered. They still get body <laughs> plenty, especially that builds the spec into high intelligence. But the strategy that goes into optimizing your character's hurt box is not something I think we should overlook, as that actually is a pretty high level play. Like, stop that. Hermit, hermit crab. crab! First in B tier, we have the Hermit Crab. Now, unlike Chill, basic crabs, Hermit Crabs do have a Pleon, which they need to protect by scavenging and equipping the shell of a defeated mm -hmm. snail player. Technically, this means they aren't true crabs. But what really matters is that this ability is busted. It allows them to match the defense stat of the barnacle while retaining their ability right. to move. And on top of all that, the shells themselves can be augmented with extra perks, courtesy of sea anemone players. Oh and my gosh! this combo, hermit crabs can add a toxic sting to their defense too. What? I won't spend too much time on hermit crabs because I've already got a full video about them. Yeah, that was great. But just understand that they the turned the main weakness of the false crab crustaceans yeah. into a major strength. The largest variant of the hermit crab, the coconut crab, mm -hmm. can actually reach such giant sizes that it surpasses the need for a protective shell, <laughs> since there's essentially nothing that's able to wreck it. Oh, no! And by dropping the heavy shell, they gain the ability to climb, which can allow them to even turn oh, the table oh, on the birds, oh, which normally have an oppressive matchup against crustaceans. Nice. Next in B tier, we have the copepod. 
The what? Now, this may seem like a weird inclusion on this tier list, as I usually don't discuss builds from the microbe weight class, but cope pods really do deserve a mention, okay. as they pretty much have the entire zooplankton metagame on lock. Like They're one of the most numerous builds in the yeah. entire game, and can survive almost anywhere due to a multitude of elemental resistances. They're almost like water bears in a way, mm. except in addition to being quite durable, they're also easily the most mobile of all plankton builds. Mm -hmm. Most other zooplankton only start out in that weight class. SpongeBob. It was a SpongeBob rest reference. Plank. Okay. When he was like, I yeah. can deny it no longer. Mm -hmm. I was like, why does yeah, that yeah, sound yeah. familiar? Thank you. You should have recognized it before me. You actually watched SpongeBob. The little guys are freaking me out. <laughs> <laughs> Where they're like twitching around. Eek, 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 eek. I don't like that. All of my knowledge of SpongeBob comes from memes. He's dating a freaking robot. Yeah. The guy's a weirdo. Yeah. Using their microscopic size to avoid detection from larger predators. Mm -hmm. However, as they level up, they increase in size and phase out of the planktonic metagame entirely. However, while in their planktonic stage, they're usually not super competitive, as they've spent all of their evolution points on abilities that they only unlock later on. Mm. Copepons, on the other hand, are fully optimized to max out their viability against other zooplankton, and thus completely dominate cool the meta edge. in that space. Yeah. They're not completely invincible, of course, and the do often happening? get taken down by colonial I microbes, I such as the Portuguese Man of War and What is going on here? among free-roaming zooplankton, copepods reign pretty much uncontested in their niche. Okay. This is especially problematic for human mains, because copepods also ally with Vibrio bacteria to gain the bioluminescence ability, but can also transmit the deadly disease cholera. Okay, and then we're moving on. Our list, in A tier, we have the Mantis Shrimp. The freaking alien, the Mantis, Mantis Shrimp. Mantis is famously one of the most stacked builds the game has ever seen, he at least when it comes to dude. offense. Instead of the standard crustacean grappling claws, Mantis Shrimp opt for either raptorial blades or bludgeoning clubs, which they can swing with truly unparalleled strength. That's These nuts. attacks deal devastating damage to any player unlucky enough to be caught on the receiving end. And in many cases, these attacks result in a one hit kill. <laughs> yeah. Now, the Mantis Shrimp has a lot of hype and attention surrounding it with a lot of players decrying the Mantis Shrimp as OP mm. and broken and so on. The mm. hype around its power stat is absolutely deserved. However, we can't forget that this build has a body plan roughly similar to the build that I've rated second right. lowest on this tier list. Right. Their large, less heavily armored Pleon sticks out quite far from Whee. their carapace, which can leave them vulnerable to ambush attacks, just like a regular yep, shrimp or lobster, snatch them up. which is not an uncommon occurrence given their lack of camouflage. In addition, their small fins and small legs don't exactly translate to a high mobility stat. The mantis shrimp is always so interesting to me. I'll try to focus, but like he's not talking about its eyesight like mm -hmm. at all. Well, we might be getting into it. Well, maybe, but I'm just, to me, I thought that was like the, the top thing. thing. Yeah. I thought it was like the power stat is overhyped. It is hyped up a lot, yeah. but overhyped. And the vision though mm -hmm. is like mm -hmm. insanity. Mm -hmm. And I'm trying to like, I'm waiting for it. Yeah, Okay. you're ready, yeah. anticipating. Which is why, despite the fact that they're packing incredible food, oh. mantis shrimp usually only hunt the absolute <laughs> slowest of prey, mm. clams, scallops, and snails. This isn't a bad thing at all. In fact, I think the existence of a proper tank buster build is healthy for the overall metagame. Right. But I do think the power of the mantis shrimp gets exaggerated a lot on forums and discussion boards. Yeah, the abilities probably. like being able to see color and polarize light yeah. in a unique way, or the bonus sonic damage effect their punches create, mm -hmm. these are fun little quirks, but I don't think they significantly affect the mantis shrimp's really? place. Really? Okay. Give them running legs and the ability to breathe on dry land, and we'd probably need to start discussing a band though. <laughs> Overall, I think crustaceans are in a solid spot in the current meta. Yeah. Not overpowered, but not to be underestimated either. Okay. Crustaceans okay. and insects okay. are closely related and are the most successful factions within the arthropod class. Yeah. So it's only natural that they'd constantly uh. be compared against each other. Uh. Insects are far more dominant on land, oh, my whereas Lord. crustaceans reign supreme in the water. Though they're similar in many ways, insects have a lot of unique abilities that crustaceans do not. Flying! Such as venom, use sociality, and most importantly, yeah. flight. Meanwhile, yeah. most of the important abilities we see in crustaceans are also Pinchy found pinch. in the insect faction. Sturdy defensive armor, 
the ability to equip shells of defeated tanks, Ooh, quick burst right. mobility, regenerating limbs. These are all things insects can do too. Mm -hmm. I will mm -hmm. give credit where it's due though. Crustaceans do have an edge when it comes to that regen perk I yeah. mentioned. Insects can regenerate every time they molt, but insects actually stop molting once they reach their level cap and can no longer That's regenerate gross. after that. Mm. This coincides with insects getting their wings, yeah. which is kind of paradoxical because it means their most fragile feature is also the only feature mm. they can never regenerate. Crustaceans, by contrast, continue to molt and regenerate even after reaching their full potential, Ew. reinforcing the idea that crustaceans are a more beginner-friendly build. That? Thank you for watching, and I'll see you next time. If you could rip your arm off, would you beat somebody with it? I'd beat Piccolo. I'd just recreate that clip from Piccolo. And then, like, it spurts out. Ew. I've never oh. seen that, but okay. It's getting ripped off. Like, it rips off the whole side of his shoulder, and it's like pulsing as he tries to get the arm to come back out. Damn, that's crazy. Yeah. Ew. <laughs> that's what I would do. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Don't forget to leave your reaction requests and recommendations down in the comments below. Do let that. us know your favorite crustacean. Ooh, that's a good one. Yeah, let us know your favorite crustacean. I would like to know an answer to the tie question. I would like to know the answer to the which claws are more correct Okay. question. And also shouts out to my boy Token. Crab people. Also, carcinization. We are all crab. <laughs> we all become crab. We are all crab. Other than that, peace out, hope biscuits. It's skittin' lit. <laughs>